When you say you're droopy, yeah, that means you are really, really droopy. This guy came to drip. He came with a swag. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well yourself. I'm fine, thank you. What's your name? Oh, I think thank you so much. Like I was styled by H and J. Thank you. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Desmond. Desmond. Desmond, nice to meet you. Were you part of the cast or you're just a guest? I'm part of the cast. What was your role in the film? Um, I was a uh, Alice for the movie Alice and Alex. I took the male role, Alex. Okay, Alex and Alice. So you took the male role, Alex. So who's Alex? <laughs> Okay, so generally, Alex is um, a guy who is um, so much in love with the girlfriend and at the same time goes back to, you know, um, see other ladies. Oh, do Alex is so much in love with the girlfriend. You know, sometimes you might be in love, but there will be some toxicity in the love. I can't relate, but I, know. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to speak to the boss. Hello, boss. Good evening. Good evening. This is Godfrey Owusu. Godfrey Owusu, how are you? I'm, I'm doing amazing. Like, I'm really surprised of how everything is going so far. So, what are your takes on today? How has it been for you? The struggles, the tribulations you saw. Even you stand out on your first show. How do you feel about it? I want you to talk. Talk to me. Tell me everything. <laughs> so, like, I don't, I don't really know what to say. Like, frankly, I don't know what to say. Because we used 12 days to, to get the tickets out, to get the show, everything ready. And... The negative comments I had on it will not work, like it will not work out. Your time is bad. Twenty fifth is not a good day. But I sold out. I'm really surprised. Like the comments and the negative ones were a lot. But I decided to stay positive. No matter what, I decided to stay positive. You are actually a very young gentleman. You just completed university last year. If I'm not careful, and you are actually bringing out a film. This is actually a big inspiration out there. What do you have to say to other filmmakers who are feeling like they can actually do something, can actually pursue something? What do you have to say to them? They shouldn't stop. Just keep going. No matter what happens, find a way. There is always a way if you decide to find a way. You should find a way. Don't do it. What's your biggest strength? I want to know. Because I want to tap into that. I think it's my mind. Yeah. If I decide, decide to focus on doing something, nothing will stop me. Nothing can stop you. And absolutely, this nothing actually stops you because... Even having to premiere your film, your first film at Golden Eagle Cinema is even top-notch. And I'm so, so proud of you. Like, I think I even told you, I was like... I'm actually so proud of you, girlfriend. Like, me seeing you then and me seeing you now, I I, I was not expecting it. Right. <laughs> I was not expecting it. But I'm happy that I've actually seen you here and I'm so proud of you too. Good evening, everyone, and you're welcome once again. I am with Councillor Victoria de Graft, she's the head of Counseling Centre at KNUSD. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. How are you? By grace, I'm doing well. I hope you are doing well too. I am doing perfectly well too. <laughs> so, please, ma'am, you have watched the film Freezem. And what do you think about the films in general? Well, um, I see that it talks about life issues in general and more towards the youth and the challenges they go through. So I think it's, uh, it's good for the young ones to watch and to pick some lessons from it. So okay. you don't make mistakes. Yeah. But you could see the effect of some of the decisions that um, the actors made and how it affected them. So we need the youth to know and be able to take better decisions. Amazing. Please, ma'am, um, amongst the, the films, there's a particular film that was particularly about mental health that was running out, and you did watch it. What do you think about that film? How do you see it? As, as you've been a counselor yourself. Yes. Well, it, it's interesting because, you see, um, it, it plays out what young ones go through. Uh, and so it's uh, interesting that the way they talk and uh, more like how it is uh -huh. so um, it's important for the young ones to see and to also appreciate the fact that if you are going through challenges it's always important to open up we always say that a problem shared is half solved meaning that if you get the right person to talk with it helps you to overcome the challenges so that you don't get to a state of depression as um, Cedric went through in the film uh -huh. so I'm sure that if Cedric had uh, uh, spoken with somebody the counselor at the initial stages he wouldn't have gone to the extent of 
uh, getting to see a lot of people and we, we i could at a point i was feeling cedric you are you are getting tired already because a lot of ladies here and there and still no solution so it means it wasn't about having a lot of them but it's about getting to know what is best for you and you can find that when you get to have good people to talk with the counselors the psychologists to be there to help you and again um the issue of friends you could see that the friends he had could also not help they were pushing him even deeper into his problems and that's why at a point he was depressed and so i'm happy that at the at the at a point or getting to the dying minute he was able to reach out to a counselor and uh, as we all saw the counselor made uh, a great impact in his life and so he wants everybody to know that mental health is there it's real um, I always say that there is a thin line between um, normal and abnormal and when you are drifting to the other side you may not know until you, you get somebody who would show the mirror to you to see how things are and then you'll be able to uh, make later decisions or take a step from falling to the other side which is abnormal and so i think it's it's a good one it's a good one and and uh, i'm i'm praying for um godfred who is the producer to do more and um, i don't know but i would say that um, we want people to also know about mental health because uh, um, it's, it's always about the other social things that we put in movies but if we are able to project what what it is when it comes to uh, counseling when it comes to mental health and how people can can and come out of it when they have challenges what they need to do what they need to know what can lead them into so the causes the prevention and how to manage yourself i think is going to help the young ones where a lot of people are suffering and they are not able to speak out because they fear that let's say if i go to speak with somebody or a counselor the next day my story will be out there no counselors we, we uphold confidentiality and so uh, we want to assure everybody and for me i want to tell everybody that um counselors are trained professionals psychologists who would support you to be strong so that you will help other people and that is what it's all about and so i think that it's high time we project uh, mental health uh, through our films so that people will know what it is and so if you are asked to go and see a counselor it's not about uh, people just think that oh i'm uh, they think i'm mad no that's not it that's not it at every point in time you need somebody to talk with a uh, uh, counseling cuts across sex it cuts across ages it cuts across culture and so it helps you and so we think that uh, I, I, I just want to say, I, I, I love it when um, at a point he, he made mention that he wants to project mental health through films. And I think it's good. I think it's good if, if nationally we also consider that because we want to curb the menace of mental health issues in, in our society. And so we know that people watch films. And so if we put it in that form, it will help people. Stigmatization wouldn't be there. Labeling wouldn't be there because people will still appreciate how it is and how people even relate with those who are going through such challenges. They would be a bit calm and milder in relating with them or giving them the the the, the words that would even hurt them the more. People will get to know. So awareness creation can also be effective education can be effective about mental health through the films as well okay ma'am that's lovely and you did mention that um there is a way to even cap this whole mental health through films so if the producer Godfrey Owusu is willing to collaborate with other counseling sessions or counseling departments in Ghana do you think that can be a possibility oh why not it's 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 education it's creating awareness like we play songs and we create awareness through it uh, i know a lot of people play songs and they want to um talk about what one thing or the other and it brings about education people get to know so similarly we can use films and also project uh, uh, mental health how would you say how would you say it can be a way the producer can actually get access to collaborating with this counseling department hmm. 
okay um it's, it's about as you said collaboration it's about talking so you need to you need to get closer to the people who matter uh, you go to the counseling center you talk with the person or the the the, the uh, psychologist in there and then you share your idea and how you want it to play out and they would also uh, uh, give you the professional aspect or how you can even put it together huh, so that you would be able to 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 get the attention or the interest of the viewers so they watch it and then the story has to come out well to project mental health then people would appreciate it so i think it starts with moving out talking with people getting networks and then you you get the professional uh, um, professional advice as to what to put together and that i think would help a lot thank you very much mommy it was a hard talking to you i'm so pleased to have this conversation with you <laughs> so please yes ma'am have a very lovely evening thank you so much for coming to support the film it means a lot to the team thank you you're very much welcome ma. yeah bye thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for actually watching every single discussion that actually happened on the red carpet i was very much pleased to be your host my name is Estenyako. please if you still want to watch the prism it's going to be premiered at other places other cinemas coming on your screen so do not try to miss it out and i do hope that you took out a one or two thing from what everybody actually said remember do not give up on what you have to offer use your mind to get what you want to get okay my name is Estenyako, and bye thank you very much